Hello guys. So one of the most common question that has been asked from past two to three months because the way that I specifically upload videos related to generative AI or any new things that are actually coming in the market or specifically that is happening in the field of AI. How do I make sure that I stay updated with all this relevant information? Uh, this is what I'm actually going to talk about. Uh, this was one of the most requested video. I think uh, probably I've seen 10 to 15 videos where many people have written down in the comment in the comment section, Krish, how do you stay relevant? How do you stay updated with all the things that are happening in the field of AI? So let me talk about this. Uh, see guys, in my, in my day, like what I actually do as soon as I probably get up in the morning, uh, uh, 10 o'clock, 9.45 to 10 o'clock, right? I usually come and sit uh, in my workstation. Uh, and uh, what I do is that I follow some strategies, you know, what what all things I really need to be updated at because that is how I my day starts. Everything, every day, some new things are actually coming up. One or the other things are actually happening. Let it be in the research field. The companies are coming up with new things in the field of AI. Someone is generating some amazing LLM models, inferencing engines, many more things. And again, uh, I definitely like to stay updated with all this information so that, uh, you know, uh, and I also try to see that where this specific thing can create an impact in the industry also. And based on that, I plan my entire video specifically in the YouTube channel so that it will be definitely helpful for you. And you will also be staying relevant uh, with respect to the industry that you really want to work with because everything that I probably upload in my main channel is with respect to the recent research that are probably going on, right? So considering this, uh, let me just give you a brief idea. Like today also, today morning uh, at 10 o'clock again, I sat, I went through multiple things. What all things I usually go ahead with? All those things I will be discussing ahead. So please make sure that you watch this video till the end because you will also get an idea with respect to uh, like what, how do I stay relevant? How do I make sure that I have all the knowledge regarding AI around me, okay? So the first thing is that uh, first of all, you really need to identify companies who are specifically working in the field of generative AI or AI, machine learning, anything. So bigger companies like Google, Meta, so here you can see Meta is also there, Anthropic is also there, Microsoft is also there, uh, Llama, uh, Meta, Llama is also there, Hugging Face is also there, Alpha Signal. I'll also be talking about this particular website. Again, this is not a paid promotion of any of these things, you know. Why do I follow this particular page also? I will be mentioning about. So the first thing that I usually do is that uh, I open all this particular page. So in short, these all pages are bookmarked in my browser, you know, and uh, what I do is that at any point of time, you know, first, my main thing is that I'll go ahead and see all these particular pages, what new things are probably coming up, what is the new kind of development that is basically happening. Uh, if you if you just go ahead and see in blogs, right, Google AI blogs, if you just go and search Google uh, AI.google slash discover slash blogs, you'll be able to see new things that are probably coming up. All the information will be over here. And uh, with respect to the kind of research, specifically these bigger companies are doing, some of the new things are actually coming up. They just don't provide you something related to research, but also some kind of practical implementation. So I usually follow this kind of pages. So similarly, you can see Google is there. OpenAI is there, right? If I probably give you an idea like what OpenAI is specifically doing with respect to the news and all, I usually see this. And uh, since I already have an OpenAI API account and trust me, OpenAI is doing tremendously well. They're also coming, planning to come up with GPT-5. They're also planning to come up with AGI. So uh, this is one of the most important thing that I usually see that what things they are specifically doing. And some more products, some more things are going to get developed soon in OpenAI. And based on that, I also upload a lot of videos with respect to this. Uh, so here also you can see with respect to Microsoft, uh, because I am planning to cover three important clouds, AWS, Google Cloud, and Azure. Uh, because in most of the job requirements that is specifically required and uh, if you don't know I've already uploaded an end-to-end -end project in AWS itself, right? Uh, so yeah in AWS by using AWS bedrock So here also this is what is the blogs that I probably follow and if you don't know guys uh, uh, Again again, this is not sponsored uh, also try to get an access of this, right? So here you'll be able to see github copilot Workspace, okay, so try to get an access of this because soon I'll also be coming up with this particular tutorial amazing workspace you can really do a lot of things with respect to developing um, projects and all so this is what i will be showing you how you can actually do this amazing thing so github is also coming up with github copilot workspace with respect to development it will be must but again uh, as we go ahead i'll be showing you how we can actually work on projects over there 
So as said, uh, most of the company's website I usually see, let it be Mistral, let it be Hugging Face, what all new models are specifically coming, how to use this particular model. So you see, I was just checking out with NVIDIA with respect to this tech generation using Llama 3 Chat QA, right? And here also you'll be able to see, you'll be able to see how, how you can actually implement all these things and all, what is the accuracy and all. All are there, along with the code, everything you'll be able to find out. And Hugging Face is one of the most popular library. So I'll also be creating a crash course with respect to hugging face and generative ai so um, i think just in some days i'll do be doing that also here you can probably see i stay up to date all with respect to all the models that are probably coming in hugging face so that i can use it for multiple use cases um, meta i've already told you other than that now these are most of the pages that we i actually follow i just don't follow this also uh, if you are also looking for job, you should also follow the career page, what it is specifically required, what skill sets are actually required. So if I say right over here, let's say Google generative AI, generative AI jobs, career page, right? If I just search for it here, you'll be able to see many things you'll be able to find out over here and in different, different location. Other than that, you can directly go to google.com with respect to the job results. You'll be able to get that information. So just go ahead and try to see what kind of skill sets it is looking for so that you'll be able to prepare with. So this is one other thing that I do. The other thing is that I probably follow everybody's X account, right? So here you'll be able to see Sam Altman, right? He's from OpenAI, Elon Musk and all. I usually follow them a lot because we keep on posting some new things that is probably happening over there. Uh, any new thing that is probably coming, any new announcement they have to do specifically to the product, I stay up to date with respect to that. And this is morning one hour, right? 10 to 10.30 to 11. I usually do all these things. And uh, I also make sure that I keep a note of what all videos I also have to make, right? For you all. And it's just not like announcement videos, mostly towards how we can practically implement it. So here also you can see Anthropic, they're also coming up with some amazing LLM models. So I also follow their page, page with respect to this. So this is done blogs page, this page, uh, X account and all. One more thing like, uh, <clears throat> now when you're following this many number of pages, right? And whenever you open Google, right? Let's say the Google search engine, whenever you open you, in your mobile phone only, you'll be able to see a lot of feeds related to AI because Google understands that, that, hey, you are probably looking for AI things that are probably coming up, right? So all up-to-date feeds also automatically gets updated in our phone, in my phone specifically. Now one more platform is this, which is called as Alpha Signal. Uh, See, again, this is not a paid promotion, but I found out this platform is amazing uh, just to get the summary what whatever updates are basically happening in the field of AI. So here, uh, RCV is included, GitHub, Google Scholar, Open Review, from blogs, social media experts, all the information, you know, daily, probably I get a mail with respect to all the summary. And the best thing is that in the morning time only I get the entire summary. So just you can go to this particular page, go ahead and put your email ID. And if you want, you can check it out. See, today's, uh, it's most about this one, some breakthrough that is probably happening in transformers with parallel STM, LSTMs. Now see, all these kind of videos I've already uploaded. And the best thing will be when you just read it, you'll be able to get a lot of information. See here, you can see Helileo protect uh, hallucination firewalls. OpenAI search GPT might be shown next Monday together with GPT-4 Lite. Uh, Google unveils Alpha Fold 3. So here, just by seeing this, right, you get the most interesting news out there. And uh, if you probably want to just check it out, you can go ahead and check it out in details, right? So mostly I've covered almost everything what I actually refer and at the end of the day, you know, I always keep make sure that I keep one hour space around in my time, in my day to day activities for getting updated all these things. Again, uh, to get updated and to implement things, what all things I specifically use. Again, I focus more on VS Code. Here you can probably see anything that is probably coming up in VS Code. I usually implement it. I depend on a lot of extensions that are specifically coming over here, right? I usually use a lot of extensions for my coding purpose. Um, GitHub Copilot also access I've actually got uh, from GitHub itself since I have a GitHub Star Award so that it helps me to work quickly and efficiently. Along with that, I also maintain an Excel sheet with respect to the new things that are coming. And I wait, wait, wait for uh, the implementation purpose. I'm very much excited for the implementation purpose. And that is how I specifically go ahead. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's it, you know. Uh, but again, a lot of efforts is required in this. Here I've just shown you some or the other thing. But understand reading each and every article, understanding about it, seeing the research paper if it is included over there. All those things matters a lot, right? And that is how I usually go ahead. Uh, this is just an idea. I know it's not 
such a big thing uh, everybody probably does that uh, so i just wanted to tell you that yeah this is what is i uh, i follow and based on that new things also i do one more thing is that uh, in youtube i also make sure that i keep on serving what are the new things that are probably coming up in ai so they are foreign creators they are indian creators some of the other thing they will keep on uploading i do follow them and definitely you should also follow youtubers uh, again i know they are doing some amazing work everybody is doing an amazing work try to give that kind of respect subscribe the channel and yes keep on supporting them this was it for my side i'll see you all in the next video have a great day thank you one all take care bye bye